Hi, this is Matt Saturnus for Plugged In Golf, and in this video, I'm going to review the new Cleveland 588 Custom Driver. Let's get plugged in. Cleveland's new 588 Custom Driver, it walks in the footsteps of the last few generations of Cleveland drivers that are a little light on flash and hype, but are really good, solid performers. As far as looks, Cleveland's gone with a black and gold color scheme on the 588 that's really sharp looking. It's uh, tied together all the way from the shaft, uh, through the crown graphics, the sole, and even a little paint on the scoring lines on the face. At address, uh, it's a fairly deep face driver, which is in line with the last couple of Cleveland releases. And the footprint isn't the biggest, uh, but it's also not it's one of these smaller sub 460 drivers that you're seeing uh, a little bit more of. It's kind of right in the middle, and it's something that's probably going to appeal to a pretty broad range of players. The sound of the Cleveland 588 Custom is really interesting. It's very quiet, uh, definitely on the quiet side of, of any modern driver, but the sound is kind of hollow and explosive. Generally, quieter drivers have more of a dull, thud sound to them, and the explosive drivers are much louder. Uh, this combines those two, so it's not real loud, but it does have more of that explosive, hot sound to it. In terms of feel, uh, it's a good solid feel. You do get a good sense of where you hit the ball on the face, but like many of the best drivers out there today, it'll tell you where you hit it, but you don't get a lot of the twisting on miss hits like you did uh, in older drivers. Now the 588 Custom offers two different methods of adjustability. Uh, first here at the hosel, you can adjust the face angle, which is going to change both the direction of the ball, uh, left or right, and the trajectory, because you're also changing loft anytime you change face angle. You can also change the weight of the head uh, to come stock with a 3 gram weight, but you could uh, order different weights that are going to be 7 or 11 grams to make the head feel a little bit heavier. Uh, personally, I found that the head is feels pretty heavy as it is, um, at least relative to the rest of the club. The shaft feels pretty light in the butt, and the grip is a little bit lighter than a standard grip. As far as performance, the 588 Custom is a mid-launch, mid-to-low spin driver that's really solid. Uh, I found that anything in the center of the face here is within one or two miles an hour in terms of ball speed of a really pure hit. Um, of course, you're going to lose quite a bit of ball speed when you get way out on the toe, but that's uh, hopefully something we're not doing too often. Uh, you know, overall, it's not uh, the most of anything. It's not the lightest, it's not the lowest spinning, but it's a driver that's going to be a really good performer for the middle of that bell curve for most golfers. So it's something that, despite the fact that it's not going to be the most hyped driver of the year, I would definitely recommend checking out and at least giving a demo to the next time you're at your golf store. If you have any questions about the Cleveland 588 Custom Driver, please post them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow Plugged In Golf on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and check out PluggedInGolf.com for more great golf content. This has been Nat Saturnus. Thanks for watching.